So our Swamiji, I think you all knew already about Swamiji, uh, right? So he, Swamiji is from Rishikesh, Mahamantaleshwar, uh, Swami Abhishek Chaitanya Ji. Uh, so he will preach now about. Sorry, I, did, I forgot to introduce you, that's why. <laughs> so, Swami. For most people, we do not even know what to laugh at. And that was exactly the plight of Chandra Deva, the moon. When one of the greatest secrets of the life were being revealed, through Ganesha's offering his salutations to Shiva and Parvati and as a result when he was blessed by Bhagwan Shiva and Mother Parvati Ganesha saluted but because of his body because of his being pot pellet he was not able to bend properly. And Chandra, with his immaturity, laughed at Ganapati for this reason. Because it was a sight. As a result, Chandra was cursed that since you are so incapable of being in a position to be revered, anybody who looks at you will be accused of theft, though one may not have committed it. And one will have to live the life with that kalanka, with that blame, the blame of theft. Now, came to think that would a person will have to carry that blame, that stigma, just for looking at the moon? And so, now the atonement was also given. It goes that Bhagwan Shri Krishna had one person called as what was his name? Uh, Satraji. Satraji in his kingdom, who was blessed by Bhagavan Surya with a stable takamai, a diamond. And this diamond would give heaps of gold every day. What would an ordinary citizen do? with so much of gold falling in his house. So Bhagavan Shri Krishna told Sattvaji that if it remains as the property of the government in Dwarka, everybody would be benefited. Sattvaji with his selfishness refused to part with that money. And so now, it did become a, a, a something to be noticed by people that Shri Krishna has an eye on this money. Okay? He has an eye on this money. Satrajit had a brother and he, Satrajit trusted his brother and had given that money, that particular bead, that diamond, to, to his brother to take care. Uh, I should not miss any anything and you know, <laughs> so I have to confirm. Uh, his brother's name also we have now. Aadhaar card. <laughs> Prasad. His name was Prasad. And this fellow, God knows how, and he got the idea that he should always wear that around his neck and then he went for hunting. 
and he went hunting alone at one another place. And he thought that he was too valorous and he faced the lion in the, in the forest. So obviously, the horse that Prasen, everything was killed by the lion. Now, Prasen who was carrying that money, that particular bead, was not going to return to the kingdom, but the great bear called Chambavan, who is popular in Ramayana as Ron Ramas, one of the you know chieftains of the army, happens to see this shiny bead and he takes it home. So now that money is lost in the bear's death. It goes. Now, people started worrying why has this Prasad not come back? And some some soldiers, as their police department was sent over there to find out. And they found out that Prasad is dead and the money is lost. So obviously, the rest of the people who had already taken the notice like our Indian media, which keeps on talking unnecessarily, <laughs> now started blaming Bhagwan Krishna. And Bhagwan said, well, we have done nothing. I have done nothing, and yet I have to carry this blame. Now, even people from the Yadava clan, including, including Balaramji, who is his elder brother, also told Shri Krishna, if you have it, please give it back. <laughs> and he, he said, you people, all of you know me. And are you still saying that? And they said, we know you and that's why we are saying that. <laughs> so, so now Bhagavan has to prove his innocence. So he goes into the jungle and over there, he finds out that the money has been taken away by a bear. He reaches that bear's den. There he finds there is a baby bear sitting and playing with that shiny object. Krishna Krishna says, now my chance is there. I have to take that money from this little cup and just go back to Dwaraka. And we do not know even if he was going to return just like that, people would have said, okay, we knew that you had gone. Hey, you see? We are all very intelligent. We are very intelligent in victimizing people. So, so he goes and he tries to take that money from the bear which is playing. And this baby bear, the cub, he starts crying loudly. Obviously, the big bear called Jambavan, who is a chieftain in Rama's army, combating the Ravana's forces now appears on the scene. You touch my child, I'm not. And there begins a duel between Bhagwan Krishna and Jambavan. Bhagwan being Bhagwan and Jambavan being not a bear but a devotee. So in a, in a duel between Bhagwan and his devotee, whom do you think should win? So all of you are saying that devotee should win. You see? But now the problem is Bhagwan cannot let that also happen. He has to go back with Simon money. And then, so I, you know, to cut the long story short, Bhagwan says that I have to appear in my form as Ram Otherwise, this Jambavad is not going to give up. And thus, Bhagavan appears as Ram with Kodanda, with, with that bow and the arrow in the hand, that Murli Murli, everything gone. He is there with that Chakam Buddha and with the bow and the arrow. When Jambavan sees this, 
form immediately falls at the feet and says, Lord, I am sorry, what was I doing? He says, no, Jambavan. This is true in case of a devotee, that a devotee cannot be won even by the Lord. Jambavan says, what, what seva can I do? Bhagavan says, bring that money. <laughs> By that time, I think that baby bear also had stopped crying. Watch his father fight. <laughs> A bit written it back. And then, this is how Bhagwan comes back with that money after a long fight duel with the bear called Chakrava. Okay. When that money comes back to Satraji and Bhagwan comes back with, you know, a lot of wounds, etc. Now that fellow is convinced that it was not Sri Krishna who had taken away that money. And he is so pleased that he says, now you know, please keep this money and also I am giving my daughter to you as well, your wife. And this is how Satyabhama was, huh? Satyabhama was married to Bhagavan Shri Krishna. Satyabhama is also another form of Lakshmi. Rukmini is a form of Lakshmi. So thus, we have this Upakhyan, a story of this Simon Brahman. It is said that even by mistake, if you happen to see that Chandrama, if you happen to see the present moon of this Dadurti, by listening to this Saimantaka Upakya like story, that dosha, that defect, which would have had come to your life of taking a blame for the theft you have never committed, is now obliterated, is taken away. And therefore, after this Ganesha Puja, we always listen to this Upakya of this Simon Okay, Mahadev.